Ads here from Herman Hits the Road with Chaz. And uh, we've had a MOT rev advisory regarding the rust underneath Herman, uh, especially around the front wheel arches. And uh, you may have noticed in other videos that uh, you may have spotted a few rusty spots around the chassis as well. Um, so in today's video, we're going to take a look and uh, draw up a plan and maybe fix some of the things that we can find rusty on Herman. So stick around and stay tuned. So we're going to take a look around Herman underneath <clears throat> with a little screwdriver and we're going to give it a little tap with a small hammer and make sure that there's uh, no solid rusty spots and that kind of thing. See, check out the corrosion underneath. All right, so we are underneath. We're looking at the front. They're the front wheels. Near side front. Yeah. All right, so that's the near side front. What do you see, Chaz? Well, in front of the front wheel, from the front cross member, the back, over through the wheel arch, through the tunnel where the suspension sits, absolutely solid. Absolutely solid. There's a little bit here on one of the jacking points, but if I get my trusty doodle, that's a technical term, and give that a see that is solid. That is only just look, that's the that's the undersill coming off, so we'll pull that off anyway. Because you don't want to get the water to get because when the undersill gets loose, it, the water gets trapped. You know? Yeah. So that is really look, look. You can hear it, it's absolutely solid. What the MOT tester has said, and quite rightly, on his paperwork, is there's signs of corrosion starting. I mean, if there's anything serious, it'll be, you know, within 30 metres of a low bearing member, structural joint, you know. But that, look, that, that is absolutely, that's just, that's clean upable. There's nothing there that warrants, let's see, warrants a plate or anything like that. I'll use a, a sharp welding hammer. This is this is a bit of a, a tool I use because it's a. You can, you can hear that. That's how I see. So, so there and then there. See, see where it's all. It looks like it's rotten. Yeah. yeah. But it is absolutely. Now, can you hear that? That's the wheel well. Uh, sorry, that's the, uh, the passenger foot well. Absolutely, it's not just surface. This you can hear it. You can hear it. It's absolutely solid. I don't think Herman. Well, so far, all I can see on Herman is corrosion, which is surface stuff which we can quite easily clean up with a wire brush and a wheel, and then get it back to good, and then treat it, and then re-underseal it. You know, there's nothing in there to me. It's, it's solid, absolutely solid. It's lovely, really, for the age of him. You know, look, I can push. Look, nothing. Hey, look, absolutely solid. I can't. And I'm giving that some, you know. That's just solid. If I got some sandpaper on that, I reckon I'd clean that up. The trouble, what happens is, if you can you get the, can you see where that hole is there? You see, there's a rubber bone there. Yeah. Yeah. Well. They never put some. I don't ever see on on the other Fiat chassis. They never put a rubber bung in these jacking points, these holes here, right? And what happens is, I can't find any. <coughs> see? They fill they fill up with road muck. You now look, I can get that out of there. Look at that. Look, see? And of course, that gets wet. Yeah. Yeah. Lays in there. And it rots the into yeah. the rust. But that in there is it's it's not been in there long, that's absolutely solid. So what I'm gonna do now is I've, I'm up to here, right? That is all really solid through there. This is all really solid, it seems really solid. There's a see there's a rust spot there, right? If I tap that it flakes off and then it's solid. See? So it's only it's literally surface, even if I get the digger. And get him in there. It's just, it's just, it's just surface rust. It's just the understeel flaking off. See, we can treat all that. That's good. And get me hand up and top of this box section. Get him, something in there. Yeah, 
really solid. I, I'm, I'm not being funny, but I'm actually quite impressed and surprised how solid he is. To be honest, I mean, it is. It's, it's, they've done a good job, these Germans and the Italians. Take it this way. I can see it's solid, but I'm just doing this to. You can hear it. Um, it's going to rot. It's going to rot along the bottom where the water holes are. Really solid. See, there's a little seam here. Really good. Get your hands up on the top of it. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. So now, I know when I go the other side, I'll check from. Well, I've made that line. I'll check just past that line back that way. Right. So these are the body mount outriggers for the body mounts. And look, if you look, they usually go in here where they where they pin them on, the weld them on. But that is really good again, really good. Bolts, nice colour. Floor's all good. Chassis's all good. Right, so I'm going to move down now past this exhaust. Uh, if you can see the discoloration on that, you see? See the colour of it? Yeah. So you, you, at a glance, your hands will be going up under there if you've ever tin it. Your hands will be up underneath there, having a good look at that. But, you know, this is a, a world nailer. Absolutely solid. Absolutely solid. Absolutely lovely. Chassis all good. Outrigger good. Yeah, really solid. And we're, you know, we're almost at the back wheel arch now. And then we get to another cross member which is the other side of the exhaust box. So all around the exhaust box, all the mountains that hold the exhaust box on. I mean, absolutely, for the age, it's, it's really, really good. And believe me, when these are MOT, a vehicle this age, the first thing you, you do is you get a good look, at, you have a route round and you get a good look at this chassis, you know? Yeah. We've swapped places now. On the other side of the exhaust, I've got a good light so I can have a good look. Now, if you see this sort of thing like this, yeah, where this clip is that's holding one of the brake lines in. Now, yeah, that looks, yeah. you know, a look, you think, oh wow, that's, you know, that could be potential corrosion. But when you get a scrape at it, watching your eyes, like that, yeah, scrape all that off, all the loose, as we call it, yeah. Get that loose off, then I always get my hammer, hammer and give it a right. Listen to that, that is absolutely solid, but it looks can you see how it looks corroded? Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not. If you put some sandpaper on that, I will, and that'll all come back, and you can treat that and then just re protect it because it's all good metal under there. Now, I always get that in there and give that a good rake around, and we'll go. Another cross member, right? So now we've got another cross member, and we'll give the same treatment. So I'm going to put a line down like that with this because I'm on my back. Absolutely, absolutely solid. I mean, as a rock, brilliant. And there's another outrigger, so we'll check him. Right, now look here, let's see that. Now that might give people an area of concern. You see that there? Yeah. So there's no bolt holding the body on? No. You see that? Yeah. So whether that's classed as a body mount or not, I don't know because it, the body is sitting on that, I suppose, but it's not mounted, it's not you know, bolted to it. But we'll check you anyway. And I've got a feeling, get some light in there. Now, I'm whacking the bejesus out of that, yeah? Look. And I can't get it hold. And again, it looks terrible, but it is still a little solid. I think we must clean up, yeah? Yeah. Oh, sorry. But, Ah, that is a little bit coming off there, but... Yeah, see that? Look, a little bit of blister in there, but nothing... Nothing major. Because it's double skinned, you see. 
Can you see there? There's another skin behind it. Can you see that? Yeah, well, I think that's probably the, the bulkhead, and then yeah, what you're looking that, at here is exactly, uh, this push. Exactly. So that's that's fine. So. See that's coming off there, look, see that? Yeah. Now you've got two options there. You can either treat it and leave it, right? Or we can try and cut that little bit out there like that. Yeah? Clean it up and weld the plate in there. So that to me is something we can look at, but it's not rot, it's not rot, the shut is not rotten, it's a bit, little bit of corrosion. Now you see where this spring mounts on, yeah? Yep. So they're the ones, that's what I'll be looking at. These here, the rot, if there's any rot on these. And absolutely solid, absolutely solid. So that's a mount. And it's solid, but it looks rusty, doesn't it? Yeah? But it's solid, it's just surface rust. You're, just gonna, you're gonna get it, it's salt and all sorts of stuff going up inside you. And the chassis part it mounts to is solid. What have I got here? Another one of these mounts. Looks pretty awful, doesn't it? Can you see that? Yeah, oh, I, yeah the camera should be able to, I can't. Okay. okay. Again. get a plate in there, stop it getting any worse, clean it out and get, stop it getting any worse, get a plate in there, yeah? Yeah. Solid chassis. Solid. It's lovely. Really solid. So that's, these two outriggers haven't even got bolts in them, but we'll do them. Got this side the wheel arches. All good. And I, when I'm looking inside the wheel arches, I'm only looking for um, signs of the timber corroding. Because there's, like, there's, no, there's nothing structure up in there. Top of that cross member, all good. Top of that, all good. Up through the back here, where these mounts on for the suspension. And it's all absolutely lovely, it's solid. Right, we're at the back now. So I think this is where they extend it for the tow bar. Yeah. Looks yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah. Tow and, bar's right here. Yeah. And the tow bar looks manky and rotten, but it isn't. Again, it's just it's just surface rust. Look, so can you see that? Look. Yeah. Try to sit there. Look. Try to get one. So you can see you can see the paint underneath it. Really good. It's only a black back axle. You get a wire brush and clean it up. You can re paint that back axle, but would you want to do it? It's up to you. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not really MIT foul, but I mean, if you clean it up and retreat it, you're going you're gonna to get another, what, however, it's been 20 years, I suppose, out of it, but you, you're not going to want it. Herman's going to run until he's 50, is he? I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll be 85 then. I won't be worrying about it then, will I? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So, um, yeah, all good. All good. Yeah, all good. Really pleased. Here we are, to the side of Herman now. So we're going to go back to front. Again, just that blistering. So it's just, and they're all the same. They've all got that nodule on them, and I think that's where the world is. So I don't think it's anything, it's not, not rotten, it's just, the paint blistering. Uh, for that, all good. Give that a little wiggle. Yeah, he's all good. Nice and secure. Again, really solid. Really, really solid. Ah, oh, do you know? I'm. I know I've been under Herman, but I've never not to this extent. If you know what I mean, I've been. 
give you on the periphery of him. He's really good. He is really good. Like, yeah, it's just yeah, it just needs a good clean, good clean off, and then just treating in places. Like, and I don't mean treating as in welding plates and stuff like that. I mean treating as in you could put a plate over a couple of bits of it, but oh, you're going to be causing the water trap, you know. Best to best to clean it, treat it, and then visit it again in a, a, a six months' time and see what's happening with it, you mm. know. Mm. If you start plating it, you could cause a water trap in there, you know, which is what you don't want to do. Because he is really solid, and he is really solid. Right, this is me underneath. Just for you guys, <laughs> just for filming underneath Herman. You look a bit crampy crampy there, as <laughs> you right, son? These bits here, yeah? This cross member looks pretty manky, right? But it isn't, it's absolutely solid. And I can see inside it as well, it's solid. And they're just literally little blisters. We'll just rub them down and retreat them. This member here, really solid. Now see here, this, if I was in my chin, when I used to wear my chin, I'd be having a good look at this because it looks so I'll be giving it that but listen again absolutely solid solid just cosmetic just needs look, see? It's just, it just looks bloody awful but it's absolutely that dull noise is the, is the end of that spike digging into the undersill. It's great. But see, when the air suspension was fitted, the guys who fitted that with the pitch up, because they wouldn't have fitted it if that was dodge. So again, just the drop and the treating. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well done, Herman. Well done, Herman. Let's move down a bit. I don't think I've ever been this close to someone's driveway. I've got to get out now. He's got a little bit. <laughs> he's got grass growing out of his driveway. When you come back slowly, right? Yeah. Because I've, I've never seen, right, a waste pipe inserted in someone's bottom before. <laughs> and, and it's not something I want to see, alright? <laughs> nice and slowly, mate. <laughs> right, but, uh, right, go. Oh, no, don't leave things behind. Uh, I'm not coming back from here. <laughs> okay, so we're now on the other side of Herman now. And we've worked our way from the back to the front, okay? So, you know, just underneath the, the front door, the side door. So, things like this, absolutely solid. All the chassis, solid. All these mountains here, solid. All this chassis. Right up to the body. I mean, absolutely amazing, really. So I've never crawled under him to this extent to check this sort of thing. So no, you've left all that to me. Yeah. Well, you've done a good job, then, if you <laughs> doing all the crawling under. Could, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's solid. Yeah, great. Because all the valves are good, inside and out. Fantastic. Right, let's check up under these front wheel arches. Now, can you see that? Can you see that all falling off of there? Yeah. Look, can you get the camera on it? If you want to. If it was underneath it, no holes, solid. It's just the undershoot. Absolutely, absolutely solid. Look, all through here. Now, look, you see that? That looks horrendous, doesn't it? Yeah? But it isn't. It's just the undersill. That's all solid. Can you see underneath yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's all solid. So you can see. Look at, you know, of that. Yeah, it's a fair point. It's a fair point. You know, it's going rotten. It isn't going rotten. There's no rot there. Oh, hold on. What's that? What's that? Out? That's. Can you see that? 
that's the first bit there see that there a corrosion but it's nothing to worry about because it's not all the way through it's just a lip so that's absolutely fine it's really solid in there see if it was all around these bolts yeah and i could put my finger through there because this is a, a you know some of the, the front cross member on you'd be right about it but there's nothing there we'll just clean all that up and retreat it all it's just the under seal coming off and what we're getting behind Right, let me just stop the video there and point out this obvious huge rusty hole right next door to the jacking point, which is that there. Now, it does look like in the video that we didn't see this. Uh, however, we did see this. This was recorded in August and three months later, we hadn't even done anything uh, yet. Uh, we had, the, well, our motorhome Herman had an MOT which of course it failed on that uh, area of rust there. We got to work on fixing it. We took it all off. We cut off the jacking point, scraped out and cut out all of the, uh, the rust, replaced it with really good metal, welded it in and painted it all up. Anyway, let's get back to the video of Chaz showing us all the other rusty spots. Let's check up through here where we did the other side. Cause you'll hear it go if it's a rock there. Solid as a rock. Absolutely solid. Right, let's crawl under the front and check across the front cross member. And the, um, because it looks awful, doesn't it? But it isn't. <coughs> it's just that coming off. Yeah. We can do all that. We'll all do all the stuff up. That's just done its job. Absolutely bang on the money. And what's happening is the water's getting trapped between that now. Yeah. And giving that, that surface rust. So another three years, there'll be holes in that everywhere. Yeah, but we got that's it. right. Yeah. We caught it, so we, that's brilliant. Right, so at the front here, yeah, I think this is what he put on the MOT yeah. as an advisor, which I would have done as well, because I wouldn't have investigated this thoroughly doing an MOT on it. But can you see that there? And all that there, solid. And again, it's the underseal coming off. Yeah. See that there? A little bit of a little bit of corrosion there, but nothing that warrants any worry. Cause it's double skin, so it's not. It's, I mean, it's absolutely solid. It's just the underside kind of. So we'll just get that off of there. Get that bit off. Absolutely solid. Have I said absolutely solid enough yeah, times? Yeah, uh, yeah. You said absolutely so many times. I oh, know, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Worst word in the in the English dictionary, I think. Oh no, I can think of a few more. Like is another one. Yeah, that just needs that just needs all oh, rubbing down, cleaning, treating. All good, all good. The front cross member is absolutely solid on this. I've been under it a million times. Oh, the front cross member's new. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. No, that was rusted. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, they do go on them. That's yeah, they I'd do go on them. Yeah. Right, we're at the front again, still on the uh, near side. Yeah, we are, and, and look at that, look. My word. Now, can you see that on the other side, you've got that, see that there? See that, that, that there, look, if I do that. Can you see that? That's the undersill coming off. That's the water that's been trapped between the undersill. Yeah. It's not rot, and that's where we stopped, because that's where we started. So, you have got, to be honest with you, it's one solid Herman. We'll all do the stuff up, clean him up, treat him. <clears throat> oh, I won't have to worry about him again in my lifetime. Brilliant. So what are you thinking? Well, I'm sweating a bit. I'm a bit grubby being under there, but I've, we've just been over every inch of that chassis. Yeah. And honestly, I can't, he's great, isn't he? He is, yeah. you know, he's great. I mean, I've seen worse. Undersilver's coming off in places, looks scabby, looks nasty. I mean, he's been, he sits effectively in the field. He's had 22, 23 years of salt up underneath him. We'll just get him, we'll clean him up. We'll do it in one go. We'll clean him and treat him. So we'll order up some special stuff. I'll, I'll use the word, I like, the, I like to use Dim, the Dimitrol kit. Really good stuff and we'll get it because we've got the nice holes in the chassis already. So what we can do is clean all the outside up. So get all these wheels up, get enough there, clean him all up, get right in there, get him all back to good metal. Um, we know we can have no nice surprises now because we've been all over him, you know. And then we'll treat him. Well, <clears> it's a two-part system. You treat it, leave it, and then you treat it again. 
and then you inject the inside as well inside the chassis right he's good, he's good forever he's good to go but we'll, once the other side he's good to go again you, you're stuck with him <laughs> I'm stuck with him <laughs> but I don't mind well Zoe would be pleased I think yeah, yeah exactly yeah, I think yeah. everyone will you know because yeah. you know everyone loves Little Herman don't they yeah yeah so fantastic news. So that's that's a good one. So I think next one we'll do is when we're prepping him and treating him. All right. So stay tuned. <laughs> and don't he, forget to subscribe. He knows all the... All and the, like. And all the, the lingo. Bell. And anything else I can't remember. That's it. Not being a YouTuber myself, you know. <laughs> nah, brilliant. I'm really pleased. You know, I'm over there for that. <clears throat> right, so that's the next stage then? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. so uh, you, you, you've got to get your credit card out again. So you better go and... Oh, you can remember all the combinations. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. You're the, you're the only person I know that I've had to uh, operate CPR on his credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old ass on his right. credit card. Right. See you then. Stay, Stay tuned. Bye-bye.